Hi there. Christmas is upon us. And us here at ITS could not be more excited because we know how to make the perfect eggnog. And this year, as a special Christmas treat, we're going to teach you how. To make the signature ITS eggnog, you'll need the following ingredients. A bottle of brandy, half a bowl of sugar, two litres of milk, a litre of single cream, half a dozen eggs, and a dash of grounded nutmeg. Now the most important ingredient, and I cannot stress this enough, is the ITS mixatometer system. The system comprises of a sensor, data acquisition system, and ITS proprietary software. Together, these instruments combine to provide real-time data during each stage of the mixing process, thereby enabling us to carefully brand our ingredients into the perfect holiday beverage. Now, let's begin. Our first step is to mix the milk and cream into the same container. Ideally, we'd like to have half and half in the tube, like Americans do, but trying to find that in Tesco is an absolute nightmare. So we can do it this way. The key is to have it 40% milk and 60% cream. Now that we've finished preparing our milk and cream, we can add it to the jug where the sensor is in place. Now that we've finalised adding our half and half to the jug, you can see that the sensor has detected a reading and presents us with a homogenous tomogram on the screen. Our next step is to start breaking the eggs and adding them to the bowl. Now we need six eggs to fully make the mixture. Now that we've finished breaking our eggs, we can begin whisking them into a nice frothy yellow colour, which we can later add to the sensor. Now that we've finished whisking our eggs and they're a perfect frothy yellow colour, we can add the sugar and a pinch of grounded nutmeg and whisk it one final time before we add it into the sensor. Now that we've finished whisking, we can add our new mixture into the existing jug to see what sort of reaction we'll get from the tomogram. Now that we've finished adding our whisk mixture into the jug, you can see that the tomogram is no longer homogenous. This green section is where the yolk has yet to touch the milk and cream. To make it fully green homogenous again, we need to mix it, which is where this device in the bottom comes in. Now that we've added the magnetic stir into the mixture, you can clearly see the liquid spinning. Now that our electronic mixer has finished doing its job, you can see that the tomogram has gone to the same colour once again, meaning that everything is fully mixed and homogenous. And finally, we can move on to our last ingredient, and my personal favourite, the brandy. As you can see at ITF, we've spared no expense. Only the finest brandy makes it into our eggnog. Brandy is also a vital ingredient in making eggnog, as the alcohol will kill the salmonella left over from the eggs. Now, also, as alcohol is a solvent, we're expecting it to mix really quickly in the tomogram. So let's see. Ah, as you can see, the blue areas entering the green is the brandy entering the mixture. Now that the mixture is fully mixed, we're going to leave the eggnog in the fridge for four to six hours to let it chill before consuming. Hi there, we've had a lot of fun today, but remember to drink responsibly. Thanks for watching the video and have a Merry Christmas!